Dear Bandai Namco and CC2, this video is going to be a way to highlight some elements that should be incorporated in a Naruto Storm Connections update which will allow the game to be better or even bring back some old players who may not want to even touch this particular game. If you guys are watching this video, do me a favor, hit the like button. Please subscribe. I'm trying to get to a thousand so I can get paid. Don't y'all want me to get money? Now, aside from that, though, if you guys want to connect with me a little bit more personally, you can go ahead and join the Discord in the description. I got five things I can really think about that y'all should consider adding to Storm Connections. It'll make it a fire game. Number one, cross play. But if y'all add cross play, every single freaking version of the game just gets a value increase. Call of Duty does it. Now, I, I get it. With, with those games, you have to have like a, say like a third party app or it has to be integrated with something else. But at this point, it makes no goddamn sense how y'all can't just do this. Because at this point, I wanna at least have the ability to play with my friends on PlayStation, that's on Xbox or on PC. Crossplay would definitely solve the problem of when the games start to kind of go down and less people are playing as frequent. You won't have that problem of not finding people. Crossplay, please. I know y'all not gonna do it, but I thought I would mention it. The second thing, and probably another obvious, and I know y'all working on this, is the features of tournament mode, endless mode, and the ability to invite your friends via player match and rank match. I, I know you guys said you were working on something of that, but you never specified that those particular modes would be added back into the game. It's kind of crazy. We're talking about adding back features, but yes, please, endless mode, definitely, tournament mode, definitely, also these have spectator, and the ability to play friends online via player match, please, it, 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 in private matches, obviously, right, so that should be a thing. The third thing is balancing out certain characters, which includes invincibility jutsus. I done seen some pretty broken things online, and I think one thing that Naruto Storm Connections and Naruto in general could definitely benefit benefit from is constant updates balancing to characters. I know there's season passes and things that are supposed to come out and with that they can incorporate rebalancing so then that way if something becomes meta then it switches up when you guys balance things once you can identify okay this is a problem everybody keeps using this rasengan spam okay let's change it to where they can't necessarily do that this would then allow people to have to explore other ways of playing the game besides just doing the same tactic because this is what i've seen in older naruto games do because of the lack of balancing okay so then number four, adding back fourth combo. I know it's probably not gonna happen. Adding back the fourth combo, probably the easiest thing you guys could likely do. Maybe there's some balance into it. Maybe you have to create a fourth combo for a bunch of characters, but hey, y'all shouldn't have took it out. The last thing, bring back the tilts in some capacity. I feel as though taking out the tilts for the characters was kind of odd. It was one of those things that I was so used to implementing when playing Naruto that taking them out for this game felt kind of like huh and this is why i believe adding some of these things back would definitely help with balancing but hey what do you guys ultimately think about this just let me know down in the comment section i'm makai saying catch you guys later also don't forget to subscribe to the channel 1k i get paid